This is Mario Party, but I bet you've never played a version like this before. And that's because I made this entire game myself. A few weeks ago I challenged myself to make a Mario Party game from scratch, with all the stuff Mario Party games typically have. A fun board, getting stars, mini games, and even more. But to make the challenge interesting, I only have two weeks to make the entire game. It was by far the hardest game dev challenge I've done so far, but let me show you how I did. It's day one of the challenge, and I already found free models to help save some time. I don't know exactly how the game board will look yet, but trees seem pretty cool and since I can't find a dice model, I have to make my own. And there you have it, Mario Party. Just kidding, I'm not the best animator, but I'm on the clock so this is good enough for now. Hitting dice is a huge part of Mario Party, so I'm glad this is working great. Well I made it so Mario is not falling now at least. I added some particles and jumping animations, but there's a lot of stuff left to do over the next two weeks. Overnight, I realized the dice needed more style, so now they explode to reveal their number. Now let's add some coins. Basically a coin can fall, and it'll update the character's score. If you've never played Mario Party, the games always have unique boards, and I'm sort of improvising how mine will look. With a little trial and error, I ended up with a pretty basic square to start. Right now I have no idea how I'm going to get the characters to move across the board, but that sounds like a problem for tomorrow. I woke up today with ideas to make the board look better, like adding this pier and some water in the middle with the fish. Clearly it's not my day as fish are apparently flying. I spent some time making changes, and the fish is behaving now. My idea to get the characters to move is for them to walk to the space of their current position plus their dice roll. It doesn't really work though because they'll just take shortcuts, while in the original game they stop at each space along the way. Also, this happens. So without getting too technical, I used a cue so they'll actually stop at each space along the way. Except for Peach who apparently never learned how to walk. I'll fix that tomorrow. Not only is walking fixed now, but the camera will follow each character when it's their turn. And they'll get coins for blue spaces, and lose coins for red spaces. I hope you think this is how people walk, because I added walking animations and let me tell you, this is the best it's gonna be. Goomba has also apparently mastered the art of shuffling. I fixed his movement, and he's actually looking okay. And Boo is by far the easiest to animate since, well, he has no feet. I'm closing in on the end of the first week, and it's time to add buying stars. You'll have the option to buy one for 20 coins. I had to make some code changes, so the game's smart enough to continue a character's turn after buying a star. It works great now, and tomorrow I'm starting my favorite part of Mario Party, mini games. I'm at the halfway point now, and found this awesome lava shader for the first minigame. I got inspiration from Burn Style for Mario Party 6, and the characters will have to jump over this spinning stick. Wait. Okay, that's better. The AI is smart enough to jump over the stick if it's close to them. I gave characters victory animations, and made this nice confetti explosion when someone wins. I do have a big problem though. Let's fast forward the minigame, and you'll see it's not saving any progress, so the board resets after a minigame. In the original it saves properly, and you keep your coins and your stars when you get back to the board, but this seems like something I need to sleep on. I started off today by making this fancy ranking panel, and then wrote the saving code which took way longer than expected, but it works now. As a bonus, the ranking panel also shows up after getting a star. I got good inspiration for the second mini game, but saving took forever, so I'll try to finish it up tomorrow. I took the idea of bumper balls from the first Mario Party and brought it into my game. The AI didn't want to cooperate and somehow learned to teleport, but I managed to get it working by making the AI push the ball to the closest character nearby. The minigame ends when only one character is left standing. I only have a few more days left, and I still need to add star stealing, character selection, and more. So I have some work ahead of me. I started off by adding Lakitu to the board with his own space. And when someone passes him, they can pay to steal a star. Since character selection is always fun in video games, I added the ability to choose your character. You can't really tell, but take my word for it that I'm controlling Goomba. I also made spaces worth double coins when there's 5 turns left. And tomorrow, I need to finish up the game, before I run out of time. Today's my last day, and I made this reveal scene for the winner of the game. I also found this great site for sound effects, and added sounds for getting a star, hitting a dice, getting coins, and even the mini games. That's it, time's up. This was really challenging, but I think I did pretty well for two weeks. And if you don't disagree, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.